Hey what's up everyone, it's Brian with SoftwareMedia.com and today I'm going to show you how to get started in Adobe After Effects in less than 10 minutes. So when we first open up the program we're going to want to start off by going new and choose a new project. Once we've started a project we're going to want to go to composition up here and choose new composition. For this demo I'll show you a 720 by 481 and we'll just want to make sure that everything's set the way we want to but if your project's different just change it up. So let's call this tutorial intro since that's what we're making today. And hit OK. So the first thing we want to do is some import some media in to work with. So we're going to go to file, import multiple files, go to our desktop and choose whatever we need. I got two files for today. This guy. So let's get those in there. Here they are. So let's think of this area down here just like working with layers in Photoshop or Illustrator. That's pretty much what's going on here. It's layers with the timeline. So when you add things to the timeline, you're going to want to make sure you um, notice which layer you're working on. So let's add our background layer. There it is, presto, all nice and centered, working for us perfectly. So let's move in our next one. Alright, cool. So here I have the software media logo that I want to use into our intro today. But it's a little too big. Uh, but that's not a problem. So let's go over here to the small little triangle and we can click down on it. And then click down on the next one for transform. This is where a lot of our commands, um, and especially the ones we're working with today, um, all are. So let's go right here to scale and you can see we get this little uh, arrows next to the, th the uh, pointer finger. So let's uh, just scroll down with our mouse until we get the size we want. It looks a little weird right now but that will fix itself. It's all good. So let me move it over here make sure it's the right size that I need. Alright, cool. Right in the middle there. I'm going to make it a little smaller and move this up a bit. So cool, that's how we're going to want it. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to want in my animation is some text. So let's go to the text tool up here in the top ribbon. And just make a text box like in any other program you'd work with. So these are where all our commands for text are. Size, fonts, um, everything's pretty much set to the way I want it. So I'm just going to start typing. Cool, so now we have the two elements that we want to animate today. Um, sort of want to end up like this when we're done. So the first thing we're going to want to do to start our animation is to um, pull down on the uh, transform tools for the text as well. So this way we have just everything we need right here on the timeline, all nice and good. Okay, so let's start our first animation. Let's pull these items both off the screen to their origin point. Actually start this over here. And start this one over oops, over here. Accidentally selected the background. Pretty easy mistake um, to fix. Just choose what you need again and then pull that off the screen. Okay, so for the first one, we'll animate the logo coming across. So what you're going to want to do is choose this little stopwatch next to position. And uh, this allows you to control um, what you're doing. So let's click that. And now we can start moving things. Now notice this first little uh, yellow diamond down here. This is what we call a keyframe and it's really important in uh, animating anything here in After Effects. <coughs> so we have our keyframe set to zero seconds here which is exactly what we want. So let's pull um, this yellow band over to five seconds which is where we want our animation to stop. And then we can just pull that across and notice we have these little lines here. Um, that came across. This shows you how fast or slow the animation is going. So notice if I do this, um, they get closer together, meaning faster. And as we, oops, we just accidentally double click there. Just go back here. And as they move further apart, um, they're getting uh, slower, which makes sense. So we have our two keyframes here, and we can notice that if we go back to the beginning and hit our spacebar to play, that uh, that moves across just like how we want it to. 
perfect. So let's say we want our animation, um, I mean the tutorials uh, word to start coming across here. So let's choose the stopwatch on the text. And that sets the position to right out here. So let's move this over to s 5 seconds where our uh, animation stops there. And we'll just pull this right across. It's got this nice tool down here to let you know if you're keeping your animation straight or not. And uh, that looks about where I want it. Sweet. Okay. So um, once we're here, we're going to want to do s um, an effect where uh, both these items sort of stop and then move off the screen once they're done. Let's move this over here. Notice it's a little off. Yeah, that's how I want it. All right, cool. So if we right click on the keyframe, we can choose hold keyframe. So let's just do that on both which means uh, once we play these they're just gonna pause perfect that's the effect we wanted so let's keep going there now to finish this uh, off I'm gonna wanna add um, you know have these two things just fly off the screen so we're gonna wanna go to about seven seconds here because I'd like these two to display um, just permanently there and uh, once we're at six or seven seconds here, we're just going to make a little movement to make a new keyframe. And as you notice, we turn toggle uh, hold keyframe on. We're going to want to turn that off now, so we can start moving things again. And let's just do that to both of our items so that they uh, start moving. Cool. And then we have our uh, our new keyframes. So let's go over here to eight seconds because I'm going to want these items to leave the screen the screen quite quick. So uh, let's just pull this off here. And uh, I'm just going to make sure everything's straight. And notice as I did this, it's moving a lot faster, so the, li the dots are a lot further apart. And uh, let's, uh, sorry, double clicked on that again. And let's just go back here and again, we'll just pull it off the screen. Cool, so let's check it out and see how it looks. Perfect, and that's that. That's uh, starting some basic animation in um, After Effects. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, hit us up on softwarenewsdaily.com or softwaremedia.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.